how to improve our spoken english my name is devabrata rai i am going to share with you some of the tips today i am going to discuss about how to improve our spoken english often i feel that we are not improving very much and we are not developing we are not upgrading ourselves we can communicate with others but often we feel that we are stuck at a point so how to improve your spoken english skill or how to just include more and more words in your active vocabulary when you read an article or listen an audio must have noticed that you know the meanings and the uses of many words but you barely use them so next time when you are reading an article just underline those words what you know the meaning and what you actually know the uses but you barely use them in daily conversation and uh, after finishing the article try to recall the article or try to translate or summarize those the article to your friend using those words particularly and next time just intentionally use those new words again and again at least 10 times a day so that those words are actively stored in your active memory active vocabulary active vocabulary means those words which are available in your mind when you are uh, in talking with some friends in real time so if you just uh, use this way then you can improve your vocabulary as well as you will increase your knowledge on different topics thanks now i am going to read an article two paragraphs from the article the joy of living for yourself when children grow up and leave home to build their future it is time to enjoy the new found freedom we have found the ability to give bringing up the children is at one level a very selfish pursuit we hold and save spend and splurge all to please the little monsters then the shame of it all dawns on us when the kids leave there is the big world out there with millions of others whose needs are seriously underfunded the joys of working for the community of allocating time to social causes and participating in meaningful acts of charity have brought immense satisfaction have increased after the children grew up and left so all you folks out there who keep yearning for the attention of the children who have left for a purpose let it be known that the children will be fine do not waste the golden years of your life trying to insert yourself into their lives enjoy the bond of love be empathetic when they need a listening ear but move on with your life a new life becomes and don't waste in sulking now there i found some words which i rarely use like hold splurge persuade allocating yearning emphatic becomes and sulking though only splurge is new word to me and i know the meaning of other words but i rarely use those words in daily conversation now i try to summarize on the pairs in my own way but i will try to use those words we bring up the children uh, sometimes with selfish pursuit that they will take care of us in our old age but when we allocate time and money for them there is immense love for them also but but we can contribute for other causes like social cause by charity uh, we can use our resources in better ways and there is immense opportunities to utilize our money and get satisfaction out of life so when the children leave us we shouldn't always yearn for their company and uh, we shouldn't show our sulking face to them but we must be empathetic when they want us but there is a world beside them also we can start a new life and the new life always becomes now the word yearn we can use it in different sentences everybody yearns for money everybody yearns for fame yearns means asking something from core of your heart the word immense immense means huge great lots of 
So you can use it in different ways. I have immense love for you. There are immense opportunities for you if you join the course, if you join the job, etc. Beacon means make a sign to attract attention or invite someone. So you can use it in different types of sentences like the undiscovered places always beacon me. I cannot ignore the beaconing of nature. The new career becomes me. Empathetic. Empathetic means showing their ability to share and understand the feelings of others. The boss should be empathetic to the demands of his employees. We must be empathetic to his situation. Thus, we can include the words which we actually know to make our speeches more standard and more versatile. So, you can also feel that you are improving day by day. If you just start including the known words in your conversation, then actually you can feel that you are improving a lot. Simultaneously, you can learn the new words to include in your active vocabulary. If you liked the video, then please do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends so that I can upload more and more videos for you with new tips. And if you want to get instant notification whenever I upload an audio with new tips, then please press the bell icon. And of course, put your comments below what you feel about this video and what you actually need to know and what you are expecting from me. And if there is any suggestion, then you can also put it down in the comment box. Thanks. You can practice spoken English with me and others in my WhatsApp group. The link is given below in the description box. And the links of other videos are also given in the description box. Thanks.